Hello and welcome to Auto Club. My name is Jason and I am with just Liam in the booth. Last week's race was amazing. Can Paul Conrad pull off another win? Anyway, before we begin, we spoke to Paul during qualifying. Here he is with Steve. Hey Paul, what's it like to be a Daytona winner? Oh my god, it was so good to finally win Daytona. So, I guess you have your sights on the championship now? Yes, I think this will be my year. I will win it for the fans. Well, good luck with that. Have fun on the track tonight and see you after the race. Thanks, Richard. See you after the race. Let's take a look at the starting order. Hey William, what's it like to be on pole? It's amazing, I am so happy. Great, I hope you can go for the win today. Good luck William. Thanks Jason, see you in the winner's circle. Thanks Richard and welcome. Hello everybody and welcome to Auto Club. My name's Just Liam and I am going to commentate the race for you. As you can see, and as you know, William Byrev is on pole position. Can Paul Comrev and Tim Treadless give us an epic win like last round at Daytona? Who knows? The 24 is about to get us underway, and we will see what happens. Lightning McQueen in second went out last week due to a massive crash at Daytona the pace car is going in and we are about to go into the start zone at Auto Club for the second round of the next gen cup and the green flag has waved and we are away lap one Lovely first lap from William Byrev then who continues in that first place on a uh, 0.07 seconds ahead of the 99 last season's champion Daniel Suarez who's in second. Looks like he's about to take first position away from the 24 car. Daniel Suarez in the lead on lead, lead lap two then. Coming down at the front stretch once again to start lap three. Lap four then, and Eric Almirolin taking the lead on lap four of 25. Daniel Swervers up against the wall. Dan Garcia and. Uh, uh, I think that I believe that's Eric Breaker there coming coming together nearly as uh, Lightning McQueen has fallen back from that second position. He's up high now. Eric Camarola is our leader. Lap five and it's all change up at the front. Spiky Phillips, Rich Mixon coming into this now. He started last in Daytona. He's now third in this race at Auto Club. What a race he's having so far. Let's hope he stays in it. Ryan Laney in the midst of things there with uh, Chase Race a lot as well. We're getting pack racing now up at the front. We've got a couple of groups up at the back as well. Four 
four wide into lap seven. And look at this, M Fastfong now up at the front of this race. Look at him go down the back stretch now. No pit stops at the moment. Cars going five wide here at Auto Club. Look at Rowdy Bush on the inside of, I think that is Noah Gocek there. Look at this, five wide here. Rowdy Bush and Daniel Suarez with Noah Gocek and Paul Comrev in this top four right now. And it looks like Daniel Suarez is about to take that lead away from Rowdy into a lap 10 now. Absolutely phenomenal. 15 to go. No pit stops yet. They're getting really close to that wall. And look at Lightning McQueen coming into the lead now. Lightning McQueen then takes the lead on lap 11. It looks like we are under caution. We are under caution here at Auto Club. It looks like it was Ryan Laney in second place, Tim Treadless. Let's take a look at this replay. Wow, yes. Ryan Laney and Tim Treadless both coming together. Oh, and that was uh, very, very, very close there. Watching this from a different view now. Yeah, it was definitely uh, Ryan Laney and Tim Treadless who come together in that crash. George Newen nearly got in it, getting involved. So Lightning McQueen will catch up with the pace car now. He raced back to the line. And uh, he looks like he's going to go into the pits. And he is indeed. And I think other cars will join him. Go go Logano will rush going in as well. And a few others, Chris Roman. So we've got a lot of cars going in to the pits. In pit lane then the cars come in. And it'll be Lightning McQueen who is first up into pit lane. Lightning McQueen, quick pit, quick in and out. So was Will Rush. Daniel Suarez is in. Here comes William Byrev. Gogo -Go Logano's out. Will Rush is out. Chris Roman. Spiky Phillips as well. Jackson Storm, Rich Mixon. Most of the cars are in and out very quickly. Daniel Suarez struggling in that pit stop. Not sure what's going on there. Ryan Laney did hit the wall with Tim Treadless. So they're going to be in for quite a while. Daniel Suarez, bad pit from the 99. Struggling in that car by the looks of things. And I don't think uh, Noah, I don't think, uh, sorry, uh, Eric Breaker um, pitted. Uh, I believe he did not pit. So he has stayed out and I guess he'll pit on the restart maybe. So it looks like we are going to restart on lap 16. Just to let you know, Tim Tridless and Ryan Laney are okay from that crash. And I do believe Daniel Swerve has hit the wall as well, but only a little bit. So here we go, pace car is in, we are about to get restarted on lap 16, they're in the restart zone, and the green flag will drop, and we are go, 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 lap 16 begins, we got 9 to go here at Auto Club. Lightning McQueen takes that first spot back away from... Um, the number five of Eric Breaker. Will Eric Breaker break a pit? That is the question. He never went in the pits on the caution, but will he go in now? And I don't think he's going to. He is not going to. Will Rush is definitely in the way. Jackson Storm is in the top five. Lightning McQueen takes that lap then. We are in to lap 17. Will Rush then taking uh, lap 17 as we go into a lap 18. Lightning McQueen up high. Hopefully we'll survive the rest of this race and get some big points on the board. But it's Will Rush in the 76 car who is our leader. Jackson Storm chasing him down now with Spiky Phillips just behind him. Eric Breaker against the wall. About to be four to go here then at Auto Club. And a look at Chase Racer on the inside of these two cars of Dan Garcia and Chris Roman. Dan Garcia is our, our official leader at the moment.
chased race a lot making the most of this lead then lap 23 has begun and could he be on his first on his way to his first win of the season Eric Almirolin is going to have something to say about that though as he's on the inside of Eric Breaker just behind him Paul Comrev uh, and Tim Treadless nowhere to be seen in this race, unfortunately. Do not write off Paul Comrade, though. He's not in this group of cars. He is way, way uh, behind. But unfortunately, I don't think he's going to win today. I think it's going to be between these two. Eric Almirolin, then. Is he about to take the white flag at Auto Club? Can Almirolin in the 10 car? Well, look at this. The white flag is out. It's being waved by Timmy, the flagman. White flag conditions are under we are under white flag conditions the next flag you see will be the checkered flag and look at this eric elmer rolling and barry de pedal and chase race a lot coming into this now and look at the number 84 just behind eric breaker coming out the pits uh, to con cause confusion but look at this we've got a two-way freeway going on into the last into turn three they're on their way to turn four and look at this who is going to win? Is it going to be De Pedal? Chase Racer? Eric Elmerolin. Who's going to win here at Auto Club? It's so close. I can't put money on it. Look at this. It looks like it's going to be Eric Elmerolin. Was it Eric Elmerolin? No. It was Chase Racer. Chase Racer wins at Auto Club. What a close battle for the second week running. We have a close win. And unfortunately for Eric Elmerolin, it was Chase Race a lot. Let's take a look at that back. Let's take a look at this in replay mode. Wow, that was close. That is how close your race was. Look at the distance between the top three. Absolutely incredible. You can't get any closer than that. That was epic. So there are your results from Auto Club in California. We had one caution over four laps, 16 lead changes between 13 drivers, and it was Chase Racelot who took it by literally no seconds at all. And I think the only reason he won that is because, um, well, I just don't know. I think it was because he was um, the first car to the line, I guess. I don't know. But whatever it is, uh, Chase Racelot has gone and won, starting from 19th and finishing in first. Eric Almirola in second, Barry De Pedal in third, J Drive in fourth, Rich Mixon in fifth, Chris Roman sixth, M Fast Fong in seventh, Will Rush eighth, Cruz Ramirez in ninth, Jackson Storm finishing in top ten, Lightning McQueen finishing down in 14th uh, position, Paul Conrad last week's winner in 16th. Uh, our pole sitter, uh, William Byrev, finished in 27th. Rowdy Bush was a lap down due to pitting so late in the race. So to our official standings after two rounds of 16, we had 55 laps in total. Barry De Pedal sits on top, no wins though, uh, and he's 15 points ahead of Rich Mixon, who another car with no wins. So the top four are made up of cars with no wins, funnily enough. Uh, Paul Comrev is in 5th, uh, Chase Racelot moves himself up to 11th place with that win. Down at the bottom I'm afraid is Eric Trunken uh, with Jim Reverick just above him there, uh, literally a few points uh, apiece. So next round we go to Vegas baby, we are going to Sin City for the late Las Vegas round of the next gen piston cup i hope you can join us for that it should be absolutely epic thank you for joining us today for this race i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you will come back again to see the next round take care guys have a lovely afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all soon